Hi everybody, my name is Alan and on behalf of the crew I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. So, you know, again, you know, all of us have come together. All of us have come together, hopefully, for love. I mean, even those of you who don't know what Bridging Heaven and Earth is about or don't, have never seen the show before, and those of you who have, the show is about love, this life is about love, this life is about the realization of that, the nature of who we are and how we're connected to that love and how we are that love and how we can traverse ourselves through this life and come into that understanding is, is the miracle of th this human body, of this time of being on earth. And it, again, it's an honor for us to come together and come come people come together from all over the world and all over Southern California to, to be here and be part of this energy and to be part of this connection and part of this understanding. And tonight's show is really a special show for us. I mean, it, about probably about a year ago this time, we came into the recognition, came into almost a vision that the earth, because of the trauma that we as humans do to it with all the, the bombings and the, the, the the wars and the, the, the rapings and the, the disregard for, for, for trees and forests and national parks and, and the oceans and the, and the environment that we've put a real dent in this planet and, and it's part of what we needed to do as people who in some way or another have recognized the need for more love energy, for more love recognition, for more love realization, that we, we got this vision to do this art project. And this art project would be that we would reach out to people all over the world. And because we'd done the show for so long and we'd been, been involved in this for so long, that we knew that we knew a lot of extraordinary creative people and artists, some professional artists, some people who were just extraordinarily creative who would manifest a piece and, and the thought was and the vision was is to contact all these people and to have them create a new original piece not something they had in their inventory but a new original piece based on the theme bridging heaven and earth and we start putting this energy out and the response from the very first call on I mean I, we've, this is the second uh, art project show we've done w with different 
extraordinary art pieces, you know, shown on, on both shows. And I told the story of the first person who called, meditated, and then called back about three hours later. Literally the first person I called and said, is it okay if I do three? If I, is it okay if I do a triptych? Because I, I got this vision of how I wanted to manifest the picture bridging heaven and earth. And that has been the response from the very beginning. And that these extraordinary people doing all these unbelievable manifestations and all these visions and dreams and consciousness and intentions of manifesting what heaven on earth would be in their world, in their world of art, of mosaics, of acrylics, of, of mixed media, of sculpture, all jewelry, uh, all these different types of, of pieces, collages, just have come in literally from all over the world and this was going to be like ac acupuncture for the whole planet, that all these people doing that would be like a healing thing for the planet. And, you know, as most of you know, if you <laughs> haven't been in the cave for the last 25 years, this planet could sure use it. So the response has been extraordinary and, and the the level of collaboration, the level of intent, the, the level of desire of people all over the world, Australia, Lithuania, uh, England, Spain, Canada, Mexico, that these pieces have come in from all over the world has just been almost magical. And, you know, people ship them here so we can, you know, have them here and we're doing art openings and we have two coming up in the next period and we've had a few. and. You know, we just try to show at least a couple on every show, and then every season we try to do a show where we do show like tonight. We're going to show probably like, you know, 10 to 15 pieces depending on our time. So, you know, again, it's an opportunity to see love manifest, to see love in motion, to, to have the experience of, of these people coming together. And, you know, I'll talk more about the project as we, you know, get through and as these pieces, unbelievable pieces of all sizes, all shapes, all colors, all countries really have been coming in. So I'll talk about that. But, you know, we'll also have, we have these never been seen before on television, this beautiful um, movie video of, of uh, Heaven Letters. Uh, as you know, people have watched the show. Uh, we've had Gloria Wenworth, who's the a scribe or the uh, writer in a way for heaven letters and it's the information comes from God and these are just extraordinary pieces that she puts out every day and we have a movie of one of her pieces uh, put to music and the presentations by Laura DiGiorgio and the uh, technical assistance is by this extraordinary tech guy who's really helping bridging, doing a lot of stuff now, this uh, Drakken from Germany. So, I mean, the world connection is just really exploding and the collaboration, the collaboration and love and joy. And that's really, and the creativity of it is really what it's about. So we'll have a meditation and then uh, we'll have uh, the first half of this Heaven Letters, the movie, the video. And then we're going to have one extraordinary piece of art after another. So let's do a meditation, then we'll do the video. So join me in a short meditation, please. Okay, thank you very much. So the first video, the first half of the Heaven Letters video is coming up now. Heaven Letters, the movie, Gloria, Laura, Adrakan, thank you. It's beautiful. Enjoy.
Yeah, hi, welcome back. So the the painting you're looking at is Dream of Ithaca, Carolyn Kleefeld. I mean, just the explosion of the of the love, of the power, of the the creativity of it. I mean, Carolyn is an artist, a poet, she's a writer, she's a humanitarian, she's a philanthropist, she's just an extraordinary being, actually, who was a guest on Bridging Heaven and Earth you know, back at the beginning and has been a supporter of bridging, you know, from the very beginning and, uh, you know, again, as soon as we talked about, you know, the art project and, and how it was going to be a, it came as a vision, it came as a, as a, a recognition of the planet needing the creativity and the love and the collaboration of all its people and how, you know, the, the, the potential was there to really add an, a dimension of, of consciousness. Uh, she was just, you know, just right on it. I mean, that's just the type of person she is, that she, you know, knows when something, she trusts that internal energy, that internal intuition. And, you know, literally, as soon as we called, she said, you know, again, like I told you on the opening, I mean, this was... Uh, Brent Atwater was the first person we called, but uh, Carolyn was, oh, actually I was on with Brent about being a guest on the show, and I told her that I had this vision the day before, but Carolyn was one of the first people we called uh, when we knew about the art project, because we had known of her before, and she had been a guest and, you know, had donated different pieces to the art project that we had before. We had different art things, but this was a specific art project about healing the planet and healing the heart of the planet. And, you know, you know, hopefully, you know, the extraordinary camera people we have here are just walking you through the, the power and the, the glory of this painting and how it really speaks to her vision of, of, of heaven on earth, of a bridging heaven and earth, of a, of a world where, you know, love and collaboration and creativity are the, are the real source points of us interacting as, as human inhabitants and how we treat the oceans and the mountains and you know the power of it all and the connection of it all and the synchronicity of how it can all work together in a, in a beautiful explosion of love so you know for us I mean as you know, I said on the opening I mean you'll see there are probably another 10 or 15 paintings coming and just one after the other is that same creative magnificence, that same creative explosion to to want to heal the planet. And as I've said before, I mean the 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 nature of, of all these people coming together and how really they want to create that new paradigm, how really they want the hunger is in their hearts to 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 know that truth, to know that love, to to come in contact with that recognition and to just you know vibrate love to be love to be in that experience to to know that and you know you'll see as the paintings come as the as you'll see one after the other they're they're so different and yet they're all so powerful and such a a manifestation of that truth so the next painting we're going to have is this extraordinary artist from Australia Peter Eglinton so Beautiful. Yeah, the beautiful picture you're seeing now is, as I said, from Peter Englington. He's an Australian. He, this is a mixed medium. It's called Bridge Keeper. And Peter is just one of the most creative, inspiring, extraordinary people. His reputation in Australia is just off the charts in terms of the creativity of it all. I mean, the you know, the, the power of this, you know, I mean, you're looking at it, so I mean, you know, it's like one of these incredible things that happen in a sporting event and sometimes there's almost nothing you could say about it. And in a way, that's what these paintings, one after the other, are like. You see them and it's just like, you know, who's the idiot who keeps talking? And that happens to be me in this case. But, uh, but you know, if you look at it, you'll just see the, the recognition of, of, of the connection of, of how, you know, humans and animals have the potential to, to really move into that experience of the love, or move into that experience of the oneness. So, 
you know, to me, when I first saw this, it was like, you know, this is such an extraordinary time of, of all the, the disparities, the seeming disparities and the seeming dualities coming into a oneness and coming into that truth of reality that we always talk about, the, the love in essence. And this piece is like the female energy, the strength of the female energy, of the goddess energy that for so long has been the nurturing factor. But in, in, in Peter's piece, it kind of flips it, and there with the line, and there with the, the spears, and there with the, 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 the gatekeep in, in, in the manifestation of the, uh, almost the pyramid of, of consciousness. So the pyramid's going up into that connection of that duality becoming one. And these are the, the goddess energies that are guiding us and protecting us and, and gatekeeping us into that recognition, you know, as we all have to come into our, you know, male and female energies, that the energies that we've called male and female are just really part of a duality and part of a, almost a non-recognition of the oneness. And once we start experiencing that oneness, then all the things that we consider a male energies or female energies become more into a, a oneness, more into that any of us are capable of, in a sense, doing whatever needs to be done. And there is no such thing as a male energy or female energy. There's just a love energy, an energy of, and you know, we talk about a lot of love and motion. So, you know, I mean, to me, the extraordinary part is when we were doing this art project, again, is all the different visions, all the different flowers in the garden and how they express themselves in so many different ways. And Peter, I mean, you'll see if, you know, I think if you Google him or go to his website, you'll see just one extraordinary vision after another, one extraordinary powerful recognition, powerful manifestation of his hunger for that love and his experience of that love and his desire to share that love with others. And, you know, I mean, we feel so fortunate every time one of these new paintings comes in from all over and we see this other, really, explosion of, of creativity, explosion of beauty. And really, every time I see it, you know, come into the, the foundation headquarters, I'm just always amazed at how many different flowers there are in the garden and how many different ways there are to express that connection. And actually, you'll see as the paintings go on, there's just so many ways that that love can manifest. So the next piece that we're going to do is uh, by another woman who was an extraordinary guest on this show, Patricia Gognick, who's an amazing artist. So, so here we have another, I mean, another just piece of glory, really. This is by Patricia Gagic. As I said, she's, this is called Pymander 2. It's oil on linen. Again, Patricia was a guest on the show just not too long ago with uh, another extraordinary artist and humanitarian, uh, Kathy Skerritt. Uh, she's involved, uh, Patricia and Kathy actually are involved in just enormous amounts of humanitarian and, and altruistic and uh, philanthropic, you know, work and play. She's involved with this organization, Colors of Freedom, that works with children all over the world, and and clearly, just an unbelievable artist and an artist of great connection, of great compassion, uh, and the way she uses color. I mean, you know, again, you know, I'm talking about something you're watching, so and you're seeing. But I mean, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, I'm sitting, you know, within like a foot of it and feeling the, and I know Patricia and, and she's a, a dear friend and a great supporter of bridging and, and really all causes and all, anything that has to do with creativity and love that are, are mixed together. I mean, when she was on the show, she did another piece and she talked about how she does her art and how, how much she really, in, in the intention of her art is to like raise the vibration, to, to bring the recognition of love into people's hearts. That, that when she tries to create a piece, that is her intention. And when she again was one of the people who, when, you know, when we at Bridging 
know, there were a bunch of people calling the artists and creative people all over the world, and she lives in Canada. And again, she just said, okay, you know, when does it have to be in? And we said, you know, there's no time frame, there's no time limit, there's no, uh, you know, requirements in terms of size or anything. Just whatever manifests through you, visualizing, thinking about, meditating on, however you create, create a piece based on the theme Bridging Heaven and Earth. And she again said, okay, I'm on it. And, you know, I don't know how much longer than she agreed to this incredible painting. This piece of magnificence arrives in Santa Barbara from Canada. And, you know, it speaks for itself, really. Although I have been talking the whole time again. But really, I mean, each one of these you can see is just you know, as above, so below, as the energy of this recognition starts to be real for a human being, how it manifests out. And for each of us, you know, how are we going to change the world? How are we going to come into that place where love and truth and integrity are the, the calling cards of each of us? How are we all going to be love in motion? It's really like one breath, one intention, one intuition, one recognition at a time, one, one breath at a time. I mean, not that that's something new. And, you know, really to, to begin to treat each other as we want to be treated, to, 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 to really have that experience of, you know, that we're all brothers and sisters here and we're all coming into this love together and we're all needing this love together. So, you know, Patricia and everyone, just all the artists, thank you. And the next piece we have is this unbelievable piece that's one of the newer pieces we've gotten from Danny Hughes, an L.A. artist, and it's just magnificent. And this extraordinary piece you're looking at is by Danny Hughes. Uh, Danny Hughes is a new friend to bridging, an extraordinary being, a ph philosopher, a, a f an activist uh, he's working with, you know, helping children in Africa. He's an extraordinary being. This piece is a mixed media resin on, on a wood panel. It's called Listen. Let me read to you what uh, Danny spoke about when he, when he turned in this piece, when he gave us this piece. So it's mixed media collage oil resin on wood panel. It's a four by four and he did it specifically for the art project and it's called Listen. I desire to connect to my purpose. As I quiet my mind, I direct my attention to my soul. I listen. I choose to connect to my higher purpose in life. My desire makes room for guidance from the light. Happiness and peace radiate from my being out into the world. I move closer to one unified soul. So, I mean... You know, need I say more, but I will go on. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that uh, Danny's involved in is these 72, 72 names of God. And, you know, these characters that you see on here in this extraordinary piece. Uh, let me read you what he says about that. 72 names of God. Thousands of years ago, an astonishing gift was delivered to humankind. The tools to control and transform every life challenge. These tools came in the form of 72 individual combinations of an ancient group of sacred letters. Because of their divine source and their superhuman power contained in them, and the superhuman power contained in them, these three letter combinations came to be known as the 72 names of God. But these aren't names in the ordinary earthly sense of the term. They're actually energy fields, visual mantras that are activated spiritually rather than vocally. In other words, you don't have to know how to pronounce them and you don't need to understand exactly how or why they work. All you have to do is look at them incredibly mysteriously in that simple act, enormous power is unleashed. The story of Moses and the Red Sea is well known to most everyone. What is not known is that a state of the art technology is encoded and concealed in the biblical story. The technology is called the 72 names of God and it is the key, your key, 
to ridding yourself of depression, stress, creative stagnation, anger, illness, and other physical and emotional problems. In fact, the 72 names of God is the oldest, most powerful tool known to man, far more powerful than any 21st century high-tech know-how when it comes to eliminating the garbage in your life so that you can wake up and enjoy life each day. Indeed, the 72 names of God is the ultimate pill for any and everything that ails you because it strikes at the DNA level of our soul. So, you know, that's Danny's take. That's Danny's way of expressing that oneness. And again, Danny actually contacted us. He saw, you know, something about the Bridging Heaven and Earth Art Project, and that's how more and more people are coming to it. And he just said, you know, count me in. And he drove the painting up to one of our last shows. So, you know, amazingly, we're, you know, we're at it again, and the next painting is another extraordinary piece by another extraordinary being, Lawrence Day. So, so this one is, you know, it's by another dear, dear friend of Bridging, who's been a supporter of Bridging for years after years. Lawrence Day's picture is, you know, unlimited angel vistas. It's a uh, acrylic on canvas. Uh, Lawrence is a uh, an activist, he's a muralist, he's an extraordinary artist who goes back just painting murals on walls all over LA, these extraordinary paintings. Who's, you know, right from the beginning, uh, he was the founder of World Peace Now, of Art for Peace. I mean, all these organizations whose goal and dedication are to, you know, bring peace to the planet, but, but by healing the heart, by bringing that recognition, that love, that connection out into the world, by vibrating that. You know, again, it's, I mean, you know, you've seen, I guess, you know, s you know, five, six pieces so far. And interestingly enough, a lot of the pieces you're seeing now are bigger ones, and you're thinking, well, you know, all the pieces that are sent are a large, and, and that's not the truth, and you'll see some coming up after this that, that aren't so large. But a lot of the smaller pieces, we, when we do the regular bridging shows with a guest, we always show one, one piece for each talk segment. Uh, we show a, an art piece from the art project with all the new shows we're doing. So we try not to have the big ones because they got bl blocked off and there isn't enough room between the guest and I the way the logistics of the set are. So, you know, the pieces you're seeing are just these, you know, larger explosions of love. And Lawrence has done and has been involved with these murals, these giant peace murals that have been offered to cities throughout the world during Olympic times. You know, some have been acted on, some haven't. There was a world peace now, extraordinary mural on the walls in, uh, in, in L.A., a large one. And, you know, through some set of bureaucratic idiocy, bureaucratic negligence, bureaucratic non-caring, you know, this extraordinary mural was painted over. And it's probably against the law, but, you know, what do you do about it? But, I mean, the, the essence of you know, Lawrence's life and Lawrence's work, play, however you would look at it, his art, his creativity, is really in the name of love, is in the name of the recognition of that connection, that love. I mean, you know, it really, in some sense, I mean, that was the intention of the project. The intention of the project was to call out that, was whatever these people were doing. But, you know, most of the people who respond to it were doing that before. They were living their lives in that. And that's why a lot of them said, well, I have pieces in my inventory. And we said, no, the vision and the, the energies of it, the energetics of the art project were that each person create a new piece collaboratively, collectively. And that energy would, like, as I said before, be acupuncture points for the planet. But in a way, even more, it would be vibrationally that power points just vibrating and vibrating and vibrating. So, you know, again, this is just a, a brother, a friend, a, a, you know, a collaborator in the, in the connection, a collaborator in the love. 
And now we're going to show two smaller pieces, one by Bianca and one by David Dunn, that are just extraordinary. So you'll see those coming right up. The two amazing pieces you're seeing now, as I said, are smaller and, and you know, the power just, you know, busts out of them. The one on the left is David Dunn's and the one on the right is Bianca's. And, uh, you know, David's piece, David, uh, it's called Pinata. It's a pen and ink on paper. And, you know, David is another, you know, Renaissance person, you know, one of the many who are involved with the bridging project he's a musician he's an artist he's a leading edge thinker he's a composer of music i mean he's another one of the people who I really literally if i described the amount of people involved in all these projects and and they're unbelievable in a way um uh, just the ways they manifest, the, the different and the, the powerful ways and the, just the, the level of, of overall commitment to excellence, the overall commitment to this new paradigm, this new paradigm of change, this new paradigm of, of, of consciousness, of love. And I don't know if I mentioned it this show, I know I mentioned it the last show we did on the art project. I mean, the the amount that these people all, I would say 98% wanted to collaborate and wanted a new paradigm. There were no contracts, there were no letters, there were no written agreements, there was just trust, there was just love, there was just wanting to collaborate and the level of that was so strong that people literally sent their pieces in from all over the world, from Australia, from all over, no agreement, no contract, just sent them, and we said we would do, you know, with our level of integrity, the best we could do with them, put them on the shows, you know, do, do uh, virtual galleries with them, and there was never a question of any kind of, you know, legality or anything like that, of any kind of patents, of any kind of anything. It was just love sharing with love. And the picture on your right is done by Bianca, you know, an extraordinary being. Uh, she creates with jewelry, she creates with art, she creates with music. It's called Imagine. Uh, it's a mixed media on canvas. Um, I mean, just look at it. Look at the, the universe crying for peace, the, you know, in all its colors, in all its majesties is the universe needs to know the peace, needs to know the love, needs to know the recognition of that. And it just, you know, as we speak or as I'm speaking at this time, there isn't that peace, there isn't that internal knowing, there isn't that recognition to a grand, to a large extent, and there's still hatred and wars and, and the universe does cry the angels, the people, the people who know the recognition, who know the realization of that love and truth, really, I mean, it can break your heart that we still hurt each other the way we do, that we still, you know, create that separation, believe in that separation, feed that separation. And, you know, the nature is, you know, it's time we came home. It's time we stopped crying. It's time we stopped making the universe cry about our illusion, about our lack of understanding, of our lack of recognition of that. And, you know, what we're going to do now is show the second video, the second half of Heaven Letters, the movie. Again, the text is by a dear friend of Bridging, Gloria Wentworth. Uh, and... You know, the presentation of the video was by Laura DiGiorgio and the technical assistance of, you know, putting it together and helping us get it in a form that could be on, you know, the show tonight was this wonderful technical being, a Drachen from, from Germany. The, the world is really knowing that we need to come into that love and need to come into that truth. So, uh, you know, that Heaven Letters, the movie, it's about love, it's about truth. So, enjoy.
So here are two more amazements, really. I mean, you know, I mean, so different, so beautiful, so powerful. The colors. Uh, the one on the left is Ernestina Encinias, uh, a bridging crew member, a bridging family member, just uh, extraordinarily being on this planet. And the one on the right is uh, another extraordinary dear, dear old friend, great supporter of bridging, Andy Lakey. Uh, Tina's is called Bridging Heaven and Earth. It's a collage. Uh, I mean, it's. I mean, it's bridging heaven and earth. I mean, all the different ways to get to the bridge, all the different ways to get over the bridge, all the the joy that we could have as we walk through the bridge, on the bridge, over the bridge, the new paradigms. Uh, uh, Tina does these unbelievable collages all over of. Uh, just the magic, really, I would say that her collages, this one in particular, but all of them are about the magic and about the love and about the truth and about the fairies, the fairies that are fairies and the fairies that are on earth and, and the love that's capable of being manifested here and, you know, the dreams and the hopes of, of those of us who recognize that that's what's required here, that that's what's necessary here, and that's what the time, this time in history is, is requiring of us to, to come into that and, and to be creative, to have that explosion of creativity again. And then you get Andy's piece. Andy Lakey is, I don't know if he's still considered that now. I'm sure he is, but I mean, at one time he was the world's most famous angel artist. He did 2,000 art pieces. He was a guest on the Bridging Show right at the beginning when he was, you know, just coming into his power and glory and, and acknowledgement of, of his manifested love, really. That's all you could say about Andy's work, his earlier work. This was a newer piece. This was done for the Bridging Art Project. It's called Little Dino with, <laughs> with Fruit in Bowl on Monday. That's this Andy piece. And it's just, you know, it's just, it's joyous. It's just a, a joyous expression of our recognition, a joyous expression of, you know, how we can come together here, of how we can collaboratively be in this, in this human body and experience the fun, the joy, the love, the, the, the nature of our truth. And Andy has done videos, extraordinary videos that he's, that we've shown on Bridging, I don't think I've shown anywhere else. I mean, Andy has just been a tremendous supporter of all we've needed here and all you know, whenever something's been suggested as, as a vision, as, as, a, as a recognition that Bridging wants to accomplish, really Andy is one of the first people to, to really step aboard and say, you know, count me in, let me be part of that. And as I've said about most of these artists, that has been the energy around this, this Bridging International Art Project, this count me in. When can I when can I get it to you? What's you know? Just ask the questions, but count me in. I want to be part of this. I want to know the truth. I want to be part of that truth. I want to help you spread that truth. And the next piece is by another extraordinary artist, Antonis Carpellis. So you'll see that one. Well, here's another. Really, I mean, in this case, I mean, Antonis is you know known throughout the world really for his you know, powerful color combinations, and if you can see it and, you know, how it moves through the painting and how uh, it's about energy and vibration and the creative spirit and how he uses color. This painting is called Heaven and Earth. It's an acrylic on canvas. And again, it's really about that vibration, the vibration of, of love, of energy, of coming together, of all of us, you know, coming into a recognition of our creative nature, of our nature of power and our nature of love and you know here's a person who's whose life has been dedicated to that outburst that outburst of creativity that outburst of recognition and 
Literally, I mean, if you saw, I mean, if you go to his website or you Google, you know, Atenis uh, Carp Carpellis, you'll see. I mean, yeah, he's just, he, he just looks like a, a I, I, I wouldn't say I'll use the word mad painter, but he just looks like somebody who's, you know, on fire, on fire to be creative, on fire to, to, to share his recognition, to share his love with people all over the planet. And that's what he does. And that's where his art is seen all over the world. It's just, I mean, you could see, I mean, you could see how he uses the color and the power of the, the recognition and how, you know, in a way, hearts seem to, you know, bounce out of everywhere and, and you know, globes seem to bounce out of everywhere. And it's almost like, uh, you know, the first creation or something or the Big Bang or, you know, something of that nature just keeps, you know, responding to itself in a way and, and manifesting out. So, you know, for us, I mean, this was one of the pieces that got a lot of recognition during the Bridging Heaven and Earth Art, uh, art Gallery f uh, Festival that we had, art opening at, at a uh, restaurant uh, gallery in Santa Barbara. And a lot of these paintings were there and a lot came later. And we're just getting new people coming in from all over the world because as the recognition of that and as the information starts spreading around the planet, I mean, and, and the intention has always been to, to heal the heart of the planet, to heal the, our disconnection, our disharmony. And, you know, we feel so fortunate to have, you know, people like Atenis and people like all the people you've seen during this extraordinary show, as far as I'm concerned, to see all this art. I mean, I think, you know, I, I don't know how, you know, emotionally and spiritually you people are responding to the show, but as these pieces <laughs> get put next to me over and over and over again today, I mean, it's just they're blowing me away one after the other. Just one after the other is blowing me away, and we have yet still more coming. I mean, as part of this hour, I mean, I can't tell you how, in a way, you're privileged to, to come into the the nexus of this energy, the nexus of this intention, because every one of these people intended to bridge heaven and earth, intended to manifest that bridge of heaven and earth. And I think if you've been watching the whole show, you'll see that that has really been the calling and that has really been the execution and it really is happening. And let me tell you that that really is beginning and, and having an impact on healing this planet. And we're very fortunate that all these people are here and all of us are here being able to do that. So you'll, the next piece you'll see is another, this is another piece that is unlike any of the others. It's by Marie Dons and it's a beauty. So you'll see that. This piece, Child of Light, I mean the power of this piece by Marie Dons, you know, really, it, it almost in a way, you know, is, is difficult to talk about. I mean, you know, just, you know, I've been talking a lot on the different shows lately about, you know, how can we do this to the children one more generation, one more time? How can we allow the children to be hungry as a species, as a human species? as one human species, not a species of Americans or French or English or Serbians or Croatians or Romanians or Africans, or I guess there are states in Africa. <laughs> I've, I've said before that's so good at geography, so. But how can we as a species again and again and again have hungry children, have children in wars, have children stepping on landmines? How can we in this ocean of beauty, in a way, allow this to continue one more generation, one more time, one more day? How can we do that? And, you know, Marie manifested that. How can she express the bridge between heaven and earth and the bridge, you know, we have to stop the children crying. You know, we can't have children crying because of our craziness anymore. You know, and, you know, all these people, all these artists, all these things, and all the people who come together for bridging, it's to heal the heart of this planet, to heal the heart of, of humankind, 
for, the, for themselves and for the children and for the planet and for the animals. <laughs> Where do you stop? I mean, this disharmony that we put forth is so destructive and so painfully obvious in so many ways that how can we be righteous in another war? How can we be righteous in another ethnic cleansing? How can we be righteous in another level of abuse? How can we do it again and again and again? How can we do it one more time? And, you know, let the prayer be. However many people are watching the show, however many people are looking at this incredible face, let that prayer be, let that intention be, not one more minute, not from me. Let it be not from me. Everyone, not from me. Let me not be an instrument of anger. Let me not be an instrument of hurt. Not from me. So, you know, here we are again. And the next series of paintings are, again, a transformational painting. Uh, Sus Susan Dubé's paintings are extraordinary. So we'll see those next. Hi, well, the beautiful triptych you're seeing, these three paintings by Susan Dubé, it's called Bridging Heaven and Earth Transformation 1, 2, and 3. It's mixed media on paper. And again, Susan and her husband Andre are just extraordinary uh, supporters and, and collaborators and, and, and lovers of, of art, of creativity, of, of consciousness. Uh, their lives are dedicated to that. They have a gallery in Monrovia where every exhibit, every intention is to, to present art that, that opens the heart, that presents art, that is this bridge. I mean, if you see this triptych, uh, you'll see from left to right, it's, it's coming into the light. It's, it's merging into the light. It's coming into that recognition over and over and over again, and that is our that is our calling, that is our opportunity in this life. And really, I mean, if we can come together individually and collectively, I mean, all those points of light that we've been out there so long will become this extraordinary beam of light. And that beam of light will really create that new paradigm that we've talked about, that we talk about so much, that will create that new bridge between heaven and earth where, where the love will be, the, the the crowning achievement of the human species where that recognition of our connectedness, of our oneness, will once again be the paramount understanding on this planet. And, you know, the joy, the joy to be together, the joy to be in human bodies together, the joy to play together and make art together and create together and do television shows together, and to be together on this planet and to, to enjoy the bounty of this planet in harmony, you know, with, with the, the canyons and the oceans and the, the whales and the dolphins and the birds and the, the birds and the bees and, you know, all the fun we can have here together and do things that really support each other and support this planet and support that recognition. I mean, that's really the opportunity that we're coming into now and that's why the Susans of the world and the Maries of the world and the Andy Lakey's of the world, the Bianca's of the world, the, the, all the people you've seen, you know, from all over the planet are just joyously and lovingly participating with us in the Bridging Art Project. And if any of you, after watching this show, in any way want to participate with Bridging, I and mean, there are a lot of things we're doing here and a lot of ways that we're trying to heal the planet, heal the heart, spread the vibration of love. You can join us. There's ways you can do it. If it's not through art, there's just, just enormous activities we're involved in, and the activities we're involved in, as we see it, are, are infinite and inclusive. So everyone fits in there. There's no race, religion, color, nationality, age that doesn't fit in. I mean, the people who help on this show are from, you know, 5 to 95, really. 
I mean, that's really the truth of it. And everyone is welcome to join us in that connection to love and that hunger for love and that ability to share, to, the desire and the intention to feel love and share it. I mean, and that's, you know, what we come together to do. That's why guests come in from all over the world. That's why people do these extraordinary paintings and send them on their dime, as it were, here to, to California so they could be shown to you. And that's the opportunity that we're presented with now. And that's, that's our gift. And that's the gift that we can give back. So remember, I mean, if anybody wants any information, it's Alan, 805-687-2053. Alan, 805-687-2053. It's time that we came together in the love. We want the love. We know the love. You know, everything else is too old and too silly. Please join us. We love you. God bless you. Good night. Come with us into the love. Good night.